because what health options is suggesting is that these doctors uh, don't have to be paid for the services that they provided to Blue Cross Blue Shield patients. Don't have to do it. Uh, and I guess, according to them, that number that they come up with, that's not an evidence that can come from anywhere other than the defendant's closing argument. Why are these doctors unable to hire another partner that they need for medical services in these two hospitals? Why are these, why are these doctors having to lower the insurance premiums with only $250,000 instead of the millions of dollars in coverage that they had? Why are they personally now responsible if they get hit, if they make a mistake, providing individual care to, the, to these patients that they provide for millions of dollars if they get sued for malpractice? Because they got money rolling out of their pockets? Absolutely not. The reality of this case and what this case is about, it's not what they have gotten or failed to have gotten paid from other insurance companies. It's what this defendant owes for the services provided by these doctors to the defendants, subscribers, and patients. That's what this case is about. Blue Cross Blue Shield doesn't provide hospital equipment. Blue Cross Blue Shield does not provide technical assistance in the hospitals. They don't pay for any of that. That's provided by the hospital. And what do these doctors provide in return? What do they provide in return? They have to provide pathology services to every, to every single patient that goes through that hospital. Every single one. And the majority of them, as you can tell from the $13 million sheet, which is actually not $13 million, it was $11 million something divided in two years, and then if you broke it down between the anatomical and the other, it really was like $2.7 million. Because the majority of it was, as you can recall, indigent care, government care, things for which the doctors get no money. So for Blue Cross Blue Shield to throw up a big number in there, say, oh, look at this giant number, I suggest to you that what this case is really about and where the focus really should be is on what this defendant owes the plaintiff for the work that they did for the patients that they saw that were subscribers of the defendant, as the law requires, as the judge will instruct you. That's really what this case is about. They throw out numbers, they don't take into consideration the, the, the expense of running a business, the costs involved, the salaries involved, the medical needs that the practice has, the need to hire in another doctor. Coming out of retirement, come on. Why would this man be working again if he had that much money? Why would any of them be working? They're making millions and millions of dollars. Dr. Ray showed up with a coat that had a missing button. You saw it. Is that Donald Trump? Let's be realistic. 24 hours a day, seven days a week on call, four, four folks, four doctors. Not multi-millionaires. Defendants trying to get away with not paying what they owe. It's unfair. It's un-American. And what they're suggesting is they're going to do it here. They're going to do it everywhere. Health care will suffer. People will die. Doctors will leave the profession. That is not a good thing. And it can be stopped today. That's what needs to be stopped today, is insurance abuse, not paying the medical doctors what they need in order to award, to, in order to avoid having to pay fair medical fees, reasonable fees. And what are they owed? $1,546,479 that the defendant would like to keep. They would like to be able to call Jacksonville and say, hey, hey, we got to keep the money, or the majority of the money. That's great. So we can have more profits this year. Ladies and gentlemen, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? It's time to change this. Abraham Lincoln once said that once after what was said here is forgotten, what was done here will be long remembered. This is an extremely important health care case. It's important to the patients of Florida to have quality care in a pathology laboratory. It's important because of fairness. Please come back with a verdict in favor of the plaintiff awarding the entire amount, $1,546,479. And please, please, review all the evidence. Review the billing. Review the interest rates. When, when they talked about the rates, you heard the rates from, from Dr. Abels. He told you what those rates are. The defendants have had those rates since 2001. Never objected to them. It's not about the rates. Their economists never objected to it. 
Nobody said the rates were wrong. Nobody. It's about want, they're wanting to keep the money. That's what the case is about. Come back with a verdict in favor of the plaintiff against the defendant and award $1,546,479. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask you both to do a flat quickly, just a matter of